five years ago, I never thought this would have done this. And every year I say the same thing. It's, it's an incredible journey. It's an incredible hospital. It's an incredible group of guys. And our community is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, to turn out the way y'all turn out. Now, we have one job on the ride, and that's to tell a story. And that story is trying to make a difference in one kid's life. And if we can do that, and we get home safely, then we accomplish what we set out to accomplish. I mean, that's all we do is tell that story. The real heroes are the doctors, are the nurses, Everybody that's employed back here in this building that makes a difference in our community. That's the real heroes. Our job is to tell that story. It touches me every time I walk up in that high-risk nursery. It touches me every time I walk up in that pediatric school. If you've never had the experience of just visiting a, a child, bring a smile to that child's face while they're sitting in that hospital bed with all that concern. You need to do that. I promise it will make a bigger difference in your life by bringing a smile to a child's face. This year, we'll introduce the riders to you. As in the past, we Madam Mayor, you take too much clothes, so I don't think you fit in all of our saddlebags. But we would love to have a female go with us one year, for sure. So maybe who knows? Maybe she will be the first. But there's four guys that have continued this journey since the day of the second ride. And the first one I'd like to bring up is Mike Langford. Every year I give them a new hat. And if you look at the hat, each balloon on there represents the year, number of years that they've rode. So, from going from three rides to Mike's fourth ride, this is Mike Langford. Mike's in charge of the route, but also Mike's going to be in charge of something a little bit more important this year. Several years back, we made a stop in Salt Lake City and were presented with a cast of a preemie baby's hand that I've carried with me every year. But it's time to pass this hand. I don't think anybody deserves it more than Mike Frankfurt. Something I carry with me every day and think about often, and I'm sure Mike will do the same. And Mike will choose next year to present that. The next person, probably a lot of the reason why this ride continues is Sheriff Mike Jolly. Uh, this will be Mike's fourth year also. And, you know, it's just, in a lot of ways, it's great to have a sheriff go with you. <laughs> Everybody needs a politician. Uh, but Mike does an incredible job with us. He arranges a lot of escorts in and out of town for us. And believe it or not, he's actually our spiritual guy on the trip. And if we stop and do prayers, Mike's the one that leads that. And he brings a lot to the table, and he's just he's a great, great guy, and I'm honored to be able to ride with Mike. Also, we've had a very special baby that was born right here. And we're going to visit when we go into Redding, California. We're going to 
take with us a cast of Colette's hand that was made. And each of the riders will have one of these to take with them, just to remember once again while we're riding. So we'll present one of these hands from Colette before we meet in Redding, California. So we know why we ride, but every now and then after you get off and you've been in the rain all day, it's nice to look at something like this and say, you know, this is for a bigger cause. So Mike. Next guy, you know, I always meet somebody just out of the blue, and this guy's no different, but he's been with me. This will be his fourth ride. I met him in a camera shop, and he said, You're that guy that went on that ride, aren't you? <laughs> and the bond that we created since then, Ronnie Wilson, Ronnie, come on up. is he's a jack of all trades I mean but his number one job for this year's ride is to get us home safe he's our safety guy and he has an important task so <laughs> there you go, Ronnie. looking for him I didn't see him back there I have one other guy that's been uh, on every adventure with us and you always need a father figure when you're on the trip like this. <laughs> okay, grandfather figure. <laughs> James Cole. Uh, I'm going to tell you, all the young guys, semi-young guys, other than James, when we get off the motorcycle, we can barely even walk. We're all slouched over the bike at the end of the day. James Cole never, ever changes his position. He always is alert, and I don't know, I don't know how you do it, James. I, I aspire to be like you when I get old. I promise you that. James Cole. Uh, he says he sleeps with his eyes open, so I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring two new guys, not new, but two other guys up here. That This will actually be their third trip with us. I'm going to bring both Gary and Brad. It should happen. <laughs> if you notice on uh, my badge and each of these guys that went the very first year, they have a gold badge. And the guys that came in after that, they got a silver badge. But I think that Gary and Brad have both elevated to a higher level. They need a gold badge. Uh, this is their third year going. Uh, uh, Gary, you need a mechanic, but I promise you something's going to break down somewhere. Uh, Gary is the mechanic. And then you need what we call a rookie wrangler because somebody's got to keep all our new guys in check. And that's Brad's job to be in charge of the rookies. So they both had two very important jobs. And I know some of them have already been buttered up to both of them because if your bike breaks, bike breaks down, you want Gary to be there. And the rookie Wrangler, the rookies definitely have been buttering up to Brad because they know what's in store for them. Uh, <laughs> Brad and Gary. Now we get into the guys that have been on the second trip. The next guy, we gave him a nickname on the first year. We called him Sleepy because every time we turned around, he was laying in the grass sleeping somewhere. But uh, he promises 